What's up you guys, it's Ness, and this is How I Shoot My YouTube Videos. So, first and foremost, when it comes to my style of shooting, I don't believe in bogging down videos for too long. I like to keep them short, straight, simple, and to the point. Now, typically to help me with that, what I'll do is I have a little notepad off to the side to help me just remember uh, key points so that way I don't forget what I'm talking about or just lose my place. Now, the notepad doesn't have to have everything that you're talking about, but what you wanna do is you wanna just, you know, throw some like key factors on there that you just don't wanna forget and that are very important to the integrity of the video. So yeah, that little notepad, major win got to do that now the next big thing for me is the audio if the audio isn't right then the video isn't right visual is important but the audio is also important because you know they go hand in hand so i use two sources of audio one of them being the zoom h6 now to make my zoom h6 even more of a monster with audio i had to go ahead and pair with the shotgun attachment and what this will do is just eliminate some of the ambient noises and just make it more focused when you're doing like sit down and talk situations like this my second source of audio is the rode Video Mic Pro Plus. And the reason why I got this microphone was just because the same effect that I'm getting from my H6, I just wanted that with my on-camera audio as well. So while I'm recording this video, I actually have the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, you know, on top of the camera that's recording, and then I'll have my H6 right above me. And like I said, the more you invest in your audio and the better audio that you can produce in your videos, the more, you know, people are more likely to watch and actually listen. Now, when it comes to recording my videos in regards to sound, I typically won't record anywhere that's too large or just too spacious because then it'll sound like you're in a spaceship or you're in a hallway and it doesn't sound good because all of the, the echoes will just be bouncing all over the walls. So to help dampen the sound, what I've done is I've gone ahead and purchased some acoustic foam and I'll just place those in areas where I know that the sound is gonna be bouncing from. Also, what you can do is put some carpet down on the floor. This is the budget way of soundproofing, but it does help a lot. Next thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is lighting. So when it comes to lighting, I use the Aperture 120D Mark II and I also have it paired with the Light Dome Mini Mark II. Now I love this light because it's portable, it's soft, and it's very compact. And no matter what situation you apply it to, it's gonna give you great consistent light. Now do you need this light to start? Absolutely not, you do not need this light to start. But when it comes to quality, you get what you pay for and this light won't disappoint you. Now when it comes to the camera that I shoot all of my videos with, I'm talking about all of my videos, I use a Sony a7 III paired with the Sony 24-70 G Master. Now again, do you need an expensive setup to start YouTubing? Absolutely not. This is just what I use and my go-to for my setups. But I promise you, this setup right here is a beast. So just get rid of the notion in your head that I need this camera, this lens, this whatever to do what you need to do. You don't need an expensive camera or lens to get started. I started off with a Sony A5100 with a 30 millimeter macro lens. Neither one of them were like super high quality, but they got the job done for where I was at in life at the moment. So the next thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was my monitor. When I'm recording my videos, I use the Atomos Ninja 5. Now this doubles as a recorder and a monitor, but I don't want to confuse you guys too much. Basically it's just used so when I'm recording my, my videos, I can see myself. Again, this is a pricey monitor. You do not need this monitor. There are cheaper alternatives on the market. Uh, when I first started, I was using, I forgot which, mon I was using an aperture monitor, but it wasn't like a higher end. It was like 150 bucks or something like that. But this will just help you see yourself and compose your shot better when um, you know, you're recording. So you don't start a video and start recording and then like the whole video is you know out of focus or something like that. But you don't need a monitor to record to see yourself. You can just set up a mirror right behind you or right behind your camera so you can see your face, da da da, compose your shot and so on and so forth. But it does make it easier. But that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Feel free to comment below and just ask some questions on anything that you might wanna know. I'm always open to give advice or just point you in the right direction for the budget that you have. With that being said, it's Ness from Finesse and Shots. I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy shooting.